Venice Deserted by Daniel and Luc Carton, published by Jonglist Publishing, and this is yet another wonderful coffee table book to add to the Jonglist stable of um, cities laid bare in their photos. So on the 8th of March 2020, the coronavirus had been building up and much of Northern Italy was actually closed down and Venice itself um, was very strictly closed. And this is the author's record of the time when Venice had no people and no life. And in a way, this is Venice as we never see it. I, you know, if you think of Venice, I don't know what you think, but I often think of, you know, chugging canals, um, gondolas, lots and lots and lots of people, so many people, so much movement, that perhaps you can't even see um, some of the buildings. You know, you have sometimes a sense that you're not actually in the city because it's just a thronging mass of people chugging their way down, shops, uh, vibrancy. And yet this is the total um, contrast to that because there isn't a single soul in their photos and the only f person there is is actually the person on the front taking the photo who's been taken by someone else. So in a way this is actually um, quite a shocking oeuvre. Um, it, it is a city that we know yet do we know it I guess. In this volume, uh, the canals are all smooth. Um, you know, I've heard reports that fish have been seen much more easily, uh, whether they're there all the time, but the cleaner waters, they're not churned up, the silt at the bottom um, is not so visible. So there is a serenity to the photographs um, that they have compiled here. And there's obviously been a movement not to have any of the large cruise ships in, and there isn't a single cruise ship in any of these pictures. And I know that, um, you know, one of the stark images I've seen are some of these wonderful small buildings, you know, at the end of a canal there is this huge, huge um, cruise ship that just dominates the city and of course, you know, there is a movement called No Grande Nave. Um, people are trying to manage the tourism and they've gone from mass tourism to basically nothing um, and it makes you think about the consequences of both the over-tourism and the lack of tourism. Um, so it is an incredibly thought-provoking book, this. Daniel and Luke are, are French and they have chosen to live in the city since 2007. So this is very much their city. They have even gained the diploma of Bene Marito and they run various websites to um, help people navigate their way around the city. Um, so this is very much their take on a city in lockdown and it feels very poignant, quite stark, incredibly warm um, and incredibly thought-provoking so certainly one to pick up if you are a fan of Venice.